Hey guys, Matt, I'm back. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and see if ESET NOD32 can protect your computer from malware. Um, so, uh, this video might be broken up into a part one, part two kind of thing. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. I have a fresh version of ESET's NOD32 version 7. And it is doing a scan right now from my last video. I don't need to do a scan anymore. I'll go ahead and close that. Uh, so in the last video, you saw how I configured ESET NOD32. This time, uh, we're going to go ahead and test its prevention abilities. So let's go ahead and do an update really quick. We should pretty much have the latest update. I think I just made my other video a few minutes ago, so. Yep, so we're good. All right, let's head over to uh, malware domain list. Some of these links are gonna be like a little pornographic in nature, so you'll have to excuse that. I'll have to probably blur out some crap and all that. I hate these videos because I always have to do so much editing. But it's a necessary thing. So these are what you would consider zero-day malware links. Zero-day meaning they just came out less than a day ago. Um, so we'll do a, go ahead and try some of these right now and see what happens. This PC is pretty much out of date on software like Java and a few other programs, so Flash. Um, so some of these links may actually work pretty well. So link number one, I'll try to get 10 links. I'll try to keep track too. I, I always suck at that, but we'll see if we can figure it out. Access denied by Nod. Bang. Shot down. All right. We'll go ahead and close that one up. And let's see. Actually, we'll do this one right here. Try to skip all the porn links. <laughs> Less editing for me. All right, blocked. ESET gets another one. Let's try this one. Some of these links are pretty old. Wait, wait a second here. 1031. Oof, this is old stuff. I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh. What has happened to my favorite site here? Let's see if I can get something current. Oh. Alright, well, that sucks. Let's reset this whole thing. And we'll just go over to Malcode, which is a little more up to date. Let's see, Malcode with a zero database. Now my computer is on a separate network, the computer I'm testing with, so you want to be a little careful um, on how you actually um, test your stuff. Oh, this is a stupid X mark site. I didn't mean to click that, but it works. So yeah, I have it totally separated from my home network, uh, just in case there's some stuff out there, you know. If you don't want it to seep through the virtual machine. All right, let's test a few of these. Let's try, uh, okay, these are very current. And these are EXEs. So we'll go reset this thing. Look back to link number one because those were too old. All right, so let me save it so far. Now, the thing with Malcode is Malcode uh, has a lot of adware type stuff on here. So you're going to you're gonna see if uh, ESET actually blocks um, adware type installs. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, that all comes from that. Let's go load up another link while that one's loading. Okay, he said blocks that one. So that's we'll consider that number one. Um, these are all coming off the same URL, so we want to get different IP addresses. Go for number two. 
Number two is trying to load. Nothing yet for that. Let's go ahead and move on. Still on number two. You can see, you can see this is hard to keep track of. Uh, in this case, looks like Firefox blocks it. All right. Fair. I can't really say ESET blocked it. So we're still on number two. Again, these are all zero days. Okay, number two, blocked. Uh, ESET says this contains potentially dangerous content. On to number three. And number three. Oh. oh, Trojan found, ESET, terminates the connection, quarantined. Okay, let's go on to another IP address. On to number four. Oh, the stupid virtual machine drop down, I hate it. Uh, number four is kind of looks like it's timing out. Let's look for another one. Whew. All right. I can't imagine who would want to sit here and listen to me do this. <laughs> I don't. I could never sit and do a video like this, but it just amazes me that like so many people do. I guess there's a lot of people out there that want to know if something is going to work before they buy it or they're just weird uh number four blocked eset just on a roll here let's go for a number five these are all trojans of some sort or i don't know i don't know what they are who knows they're just bad Getting ready to save it. Let's see if I can save it. All right. Well, that's coming down. Oh, blocked. On to number six. East has got a stellar record right now. Ah, okay. It's time it out. Pretty annoying. The real links I want to try are the links that I get from um, my spam filter at work because, I mean, those are just really, really zero day, you know. Um, just not a lot of people exposed to them. I want to somehow get those off, uh, off my spam filter and test with those. Um, in case anyone's curious, we use a Barracuda spam filter at work. Things uh, pretty rock solid spam for uh, email filtering wise. All right, on to number seven, and we're uh, running out of links here. <laughs> I'll go on to page two. We're still on uh, today's date. Uh, and we block something else. I think that was the thing I just downloaded. Maybe not even that. I don't know. This is, it looks like some kind of uh, exploit type of kit. Uh, this is number eight, and it is blocked. Let's go on to number nine. Different IP address. He said just blocking all kinds of stuff in the background down there. I'll we'll try to save number nine here. And it's blocked, blocked, blocked. ESET just 
pairing it up. And last one. Yippee. That's all messed up weirdness URLs there. Let's try to grab this one. This one looks like it's some kind of exploit, not an exe. Let's go ahead and close that window. Open up that. And blocked. So you saw it there. 10, really 12 links that ESET just blocked it all. So now I know there's a lot of skeptics out there, you know, saying, well, how do you know you really blocked everything and what if there's something on here? Well, we can do some follow up tests. Um, a great follow up tester, in my opinion, because it has such a high detection rate, is Hitman Pro. So we'll continue on with this video here and do a Hitman Pro scan. And we'll do a couple of uh, uh, rootkit scans as well, because I think this is a 32-bit computer. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so just do a search for Hitman Pro. Download the 32-bit version. Save it. Takes a few seconds to download. And let's show uh, all our downloads. Uh, you can see failed, failed, failed. What about this guy right here? That looks like definite BS to me. Let me go ahead and see what that is. Might have a little bit of adware on our hands here that uh, ESET, woof. Should I try to install it? Ah, sure. I would never ever install something like this though. See what it actually does. I have no idea. Let's go ahead and hit. Up. Let's go ahead and uh, get on with the Hitman Pro thing. We'll come back to that. I think it was fairly stupid and uh, benign. All right. We'll go ahead and click next. I only want to scan one time. All right. Um, let's see. So we have a startup. Item okay, so Hitman Pro start operation was allowed. Yeah, cool. All right, Hitman Pro, that's fine. Nah, just kind of keeping us up to date there. I'm not sure what uh, we were allowed to install just a second ago. That's going to be interesting. Um, anyway, I'm going to pause this while it's scanning. Uh, I want to show you something real quick. It looked like uh, Nah just picked up something during the Hitman Pro scan. Looked like it was part of that uh, funky Chinese symbol looking adware thing I just installed. So we'll go ahead and say clean. It's kind of weird it detected it after the fact, but the on demand um, scanner did not. Not on demand, but I mean real time scanner. Whatever. So we're almost done here at the Hitman Pro scan. Just gonna look for some remnants. And let's see. Well, Hitman Pro didn't actually find anything. It says no threats found. So whatever we installed, I guess it was kind of ad wary if that's a word, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, I got some kind of like little, I don't know if it's a pop-up or what. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. Let me see. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, that doesn't stand out one bit. Let me see. Nothing in there. Let's see, did it put like a toolbar? Well, let's see here. No. All right. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot really quick just to see if anything pops up, anything different, since I did that little uh, install there. So hang on a sec. All right. Well, I rebooted, and I really don't see anything. I thought maybe it installed some kind of extension um, into Firefox. I'm talking about that weird Chinese-looking adware stuff. But I honestly don't know what it does, and it doesn't affect my searches, and you can just uh, remove it through uh, programs and features. You can just remove it normally. So let's uh, do one last little scan here, and that's going to be a rootkit scan. I'll just use a TDSS killer. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Where's my little exe? There it is. Go ahead and save the exe. Now, run this as the administrator. And go ahead and do a quick scan here. So yeah, I'd like to test out Nod's little uh, hips module. I haven't ever messed with it yet. I'm not sure how to actually test it. I'll have to figure that out. I'm going to be spending the whole week working with Nod 7 here. I'll have to figure out something there. Next video is going to be, can Nod clean up your infected PC? I know people love those videos. So I'll be taking my time with that one. All right, uh, so no rootkits found. Anyway, let's go ahead and close this up before I talk and babble too much. Nod32 Antivirus 7. It's kick-ass. It really protects your PC uh, from all kinds of uh, threats. You saw me try to load about 12 different threats. Really easy to install, work with. Looks beautiful. I love the look of it. And... Um, I don't know. It's worth your money if you want to protect your computer. So I got to upload this. I'll talk to you guys later.